most commonly hydrogen is produced by catalytic reforming of natural gas combined with a water gas shift reaction step from which a hydrogen stream containing a number of impurities such as water vapor carbon dioxide methane carbon monoxide and nitrogen is obtained these impurities must be removed in order to attain the 99.95 percent plus hydrogen purity that is normally demanded in uh, industrial applications in fuel cell applications the purity demands are higher and uh, could range as high as 99.99 plus percent the uh, production of um, hydrogen of the required purity is uh, commonly carried out on a large scale using the uh, pressure swing adsorption technology or PSA and the objective of this presentation is to uh, highlight some of the uh, key fundamental features of uh, PSA processes for further background information on PSA technologies I refer you to two textbooks the first one is by Rutwan, Farooq and Knabel and the second one by Ralph Yang also refer to my own publication that uh, provides all the background calculations and uh, simulation results that I will present in the uh, subsequent slides please also um, view my video presentations transient breakthrough simulations and screening of mobs that's available on my uh, YouTube channel there are essentially four steps in uh, the PSA schemes used for production of pure hydrogen the first step involves pressurization with the feed or raffinate product the second step involves a high pressure adsorption separation with the feed mixture with um, removal or withdrawal of the purified raffinate the third step involves uh, depressurization or blowdown counter current to the feed and the fourth and final step involves uh, desorption at the lower operating pressure this is accomplished by evacuation or purging of the bed with a portion of the uh, purified uh, raffinate product let us consider the use of activated carbon as adsorbent in the uh, PSA technology for hydrogen purification the data on the unary isotherms are plotted here the uh, isotherms for e each of the individual components in the feed mixture follow the Langmuirian behavior and the binding strengths B follow the hierarchy CO2 methane carbon monoxide nitrogen and hydrogen these components have uh, binding energies which are reflected in the isosteric heats of absorption given by 29.1 for CO2 22.7 for methane 22.6 for carbon monoxide 16.3 for nitrogen and 12.8 for hydrogen the binding strengths and uh, binding energies are uh, relatable roughly to the uh, hierarchies of uh, polarizabilities of the gas molecules 
here the polarizability is plotted against the molar mass and we see the polarizabilities of hydrogen uh, of uh, co2 methane carbon monoxide nitrogen and hydrogen using uh, the data on unitary isotherms shown in the previous slide we can um, determine the uh, breakthroughs for a feed mixture consisting of 73% hydrogen, 16% CO2, 3% carbon monoxide, 4% methane, 4% nitrogen, op operating at a pressure of 2 megapascal. This composition is typical of a steam methane reformer off gas. The breakthrough data are shown here. These calculations are based on uh, the simulation model to be discussed later in this presentation. And uh, the equilibrium between the gas mixture and the activated carbon particles is uh, calculated using the ideal adsorbed solution theory, assuming further that uh, the uh, diffusional resistance within the particle are of negligible importance. The transient breakthrough simulations are presented in the form of uh, a graph in which the percentage of each of the individual components is the, in the outlet gas is plotted as a function of, the, of a parameter that is related to the time t. Time t is the time in seconds. Q sub zero is the volumetric flow rate of the inlet at standard temperature and pressure conditions. Units of uh, Q zero are typically liters per second. M sub adds is the mass of adsorbent in the bed. This uh, parameter is particularly convenient and it is also widely used to uh, uh, present experimental data on transient breakthroughs in a small scale um, fixed bed apparatus. The uh, sequence of breakthroughs is as follows. Hydrogen is the first component that breaks through, followed by nitrogen, carbon monoxide, methane, and the last component to break through is carbon dioxide. The sequence of breakthroughs is precisely the same as the uh, hierarchies of the binding constants shown in the previous slide. Let's have a look at the animation of the transient breakthrough. The uh, hydrogen is the component that breaks through the earliest, followed by nitrogen, followed by carbon monoxide, here is methane, and CO2 is the last component that traverses the length of the bed from zero to length L. Another choice of adsorbent for use in the PSA process for hydrogen purification is LTA5A zeolite. LTA stands for linda type A, and the 5A zeolite is a cation exchange zeolite containing 32 sodium cations per unit cell and 32 calcium cations per unit cell. The, uh, the location of the cations in the framework are shown by the blue spheres for sodium and the red spheres for calcium. The uh, structure of uh, LTA consists of uh, cages that are about 11 angstrom in diameter, separated by windows who, whose dimensions are 4 angstrom and 4.6 angstrom in this direction. This is an eight ring window. Note particularly, but the windows are devoid of uh, the extra framework cations. 
the urinary isotherms are plotted here for CO2. This is for carbon monoxide, methane, nitrogen, and this is the uh, isotherm for hydrogen. The isosteric heats of absorption are shown by these uh, numbers here. Note that the uh, isosteric heat of absorption is 48 kilojoules per mole, which is significantly higher than the value for, for activated carbon, which is 29.1 kilojoules per mole. CO2 is much more strongly absorbed with an LTA5A zeolite because of the strong Coulombic interactions of the charged CO2 guest molecule with the extra framework cations. And this strong binding is also reflected in the steep increase in, increase in the loading and uh, the uh, isotherm for CO2 does not follow a simple Langmuirian behavior. Using the unary isotherm data presented in the previous slide, we uh, can determine the transient breakthroughs in a bed packed with LTA5A zeolite using a feed mixture of the same composition as uh, before that corresponds to the steam methane reformer off gas operating at a total pressure of two megapascals. The adsorption equilibrium between the gas mixture and the crystals of 5A zeolite is calculated using the ideal absorbed solution theory and the intraparticle diffusion resistances for each of the individual components is considered to be of negligible importance. The transient breakthroughs calculated using the model to be discussed later are shown here plotted as a percentage of the gas components in the outlet gas at uh, as y-axis and uh, the parameter q naught t divided by the mass of absorbent as x-axis. The units of uh, this parameter is liters per kilogram. The sequence of breakthroughs is hydrogen first, followed by nitrogen, followed by methane, followed by carbon monoxide, and the last component to break through is carbon dioxide. Let's have a look at the animation. Hydrogen is the first component to break through, shown in red. The nitrogen, shown in yellow, is the second component to break through. Then we have a methane, carbon monoxide, and the front of the most, most strongly absorbed CO2 moves very slowly through the bed from the inlet to the outlet before it eludes completely at this point. Let's compare the breakthroughs with obtained with uh, activated carbon and with 5A zeolite. We note that with activated carbon, nitrogen breaks through significantly earlier than with 5A zeolite. Due to the much higher uptake of CO2 in 5A zeolite, due to the strong Coulombic interactions with the extra framework cations, the breakthrough of CO2 occurs much later with 5A zeolite as compared with activated carbon. The purity of the desired product, hydrogen, is largely dictated by the time interval between the breakthroughs of hydrogen and nitrogen. This is underscored in the plot of the percentage hydrogen in the outlet gas as a function of the parameter Q naught T divided by the mass of adsorbent. The red lines show the breakthroughs for
hydrogen using 5AC light, and the blue line shows the breakthrough data for hydrogen in using activated carbon. During the time interval indicated by the red and blue arrows, hydrogen of purity larger than 99% can be recovered. It is clear that the productivity of pure hydrogen is significantly higher with 5A zeolite than with activated carbon. But in industrial practice, active, um, we use a multi-layered beds of uh, activated carbon uh, followed by LTA-5A rather than uh, 5A zeolite on its own. Let's examine why that is the case. Let's try and understand why 5A zeolite is not used on its own in the PSA technology for hydrogen purification. In order to understand this, let us compare the unary isotherms for CO2 in 5A zeolite with the unary isotherm for CO2 in activated carbon. Let us assume that the uh, CO2 loading in the adsorbent needs to be lowered to values below 0 0.2 in the desorption cycle before the adsorption cycle can resume. Using activated carbon, the uh, target of 0 0.2 loading CO2 is achievable at a desorption pressure of 0 0.2 bars. If LTA-5A zeolite were to be used in hydrogen purification, the target of 0 0.2 moles per kilogram of uh, CO2 in the adsorb phase can only be achieved if the uh, desorption cycle is operated at a pressure of 2 millibars. In other words, for regeneration of uh, the uh, adsorbed components, especially CO2, deep vacuum, say below 2 millibars, is required for use of LTA-5A zeolite, whereas with uh, activated carbon, 0 0.2 bar is uh, sufficient for the desorption process. In practice, a steam methane reformer of gas mixture is fed to a bed packed with three different adsorbents. First, we have alumina silica gel, which has the task of um, removing any trace water in the feed mixture. Then we have a layer of activated carbon, whose primary task is to absorb the CO2. And this is followed by a layer of 5A zeolite, whose task is to um, produce hydrogen of the required purity by uh, absorbing the impurities nitrogen, carbon monoxide, and methane. 